Good morning, dear friends. It is so nice to meet you again this morning through this video. And I pray that today's meditation will be a, an inspiration to you and an encouragement for you to trust in your God and in my God, who is always ready to answer our prayers. This is my prayer for you today. Now, if you are a child of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, then you have a place and a person in that place to approach boldly in times of your great need. From there, in other words, from that place and person, you will receive timely help. The place is the throne of God in heaven and the person is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ and our gracious heavenly father who gives us our needs through his son Jesus Christ who is seated at the right hand of God the father and I want you to notice this particular verse in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 where it says let us therefore boldly approach the throne of God that we may receive timely help in times of our need. I want you to notice the two last words, timely help. Now that means not too soon and not too late. Just on time. And God's time is always the best time. And God's time may not be our time. But nevertheless, he knows when to answer your prayer and when to supply your need. And he will not fail you. Just as it is our earthly father's job to make sure It is his job to make certain that his children have what they need. God will make sure the same way what you need. From his hand you will receive what you need. But I must make a choice because of Calvary I am free to make that choice. In Psalm number 90 verse 1, Moses told God, Lord, you have been our hiding place throughout all generations. And it is therefore a message for us here. Today our heavenly Father he desires that you and I make our house with him. He wants us to live in him and move in him so that he becomes our dwelling place as well. It is a choice you and I must make. He wants to be the one in whom we live and move. where he will be our father living in him what does he expect us to produce when we live in him it is also a choice that we have to make what our, my heavenly father in whom I am living, expect me to produce. We read about the fruit of the Spirit. And let me read it for you. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. 
There are nine things. The fruit is one because it says the fruit of the spirit is the singular form. But the way I see it is in this one fruit, there are nine wonderful qualities. And this is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And this is the fruit that our Heavenly Father looks for in each one of his children. And when you put all these nine qualities of the fruit of the Spirit, what do you get? You get the character of Jesus. These nine things who make his character. In other words, what our Heavenly Father desires most in us or from us is the very image of Jesus Christ. That's what our Heavenly Father, he wants us to be like his son Jesus Christ. And one of these qualities is self-control. I am a spiritual being. After this body is dead, my spirit and the spiritual life souls. And therefore, I refuse to let what will rot rule the eternal that is in me. I choose self-control. And let me quote something that I have read recently, given to us by a great man of God. I will be drunk only with joy. I will be passionate only with faith. I will be influenced only by God. I will be taught only by Christ. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. To these, I commit myself. And I commit to my day. If I succeed, I give him thanks. If I fail, I seek his grace. And then when my day is done, I will place my head on my pillow and rest. What is the meaning of this? My heavenly father, he wants to give us himself to be our house. And when we choose to live in him, through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, then he is happy and he is glad. But living in his house, he also has expectation from us. He wants us to produce something that is very important to him. Produce, which we read in Galatians chapter 2 verse 22 the fruit of the spirit and when you put the nine qualities of the fruit of the spirit you get the character of Jesus in other words what our heavenly father desires is he wants us to be just like his own son Jesus Christ because as we also becomes his children through Jesus Christ and through his blood we are redeemed and we have been adopted by God the Father to be his children. As such, he, we are very precious to him. So his expectation is that we be like his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. That is God's desire. Will you live the rest of your life, live in God, and as such, God's expectation for you is to be fulfilled, that you be like him. So that when ultimately you see Jesus when he comes for his church and you see him face to face, you will be like Jesus. This is the plan of God for us.
And there is nothing higher than to be like Jesus himself. So may the Lord bless you and grant to you and to me his grace that we may do everything that we know we must do in order to be transformed into the likeness of Jesus. The Lord bless you and the Lord give you strength and his wisdom that you may be what God wants you to be. This day is a day given to you that you may experience him and you may enjoy him and you may obey him and love him. Amen. And I pray, Lord, may your grace be multiplied in our lives. You are a God of mercy. You are a God of expectation as well. We want to fulfill your expectation, Lord. We have the freedom to choose because of Calvary. And may we learn to choose the right thing for the right purpose of a pleasing our Heavenly Father, from whom we receive everything that we need. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. And God bless you today. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Amen.